I'm Gaurav Khanna. I'm an assistant professor at the School of Global Policy and Strategy. Um, and my research in China looks at uh, international students, actually international students coming from China to U.S. universities. And uh, as U.S. universities have been uh, losing a lot of funds from state governments, they've been uh, changing the enrollment mix to enroll more full fee paying students, uh, often from countries like China. Um, but what's been happening in China is that there's been this huge increase in incomes uh, post about 2005. Uh, there have been changes in visa regulations, and there's been the appreciation of the Chinese currency that has made uh, U.S. education uh, very affordable for Chinese students. Um, so actually, after 2005, what you see is that there's been this huge increase in uh, undergraduate students um, coming from China. And a lot of these students are essentially coming to uh, U.S. public research universities. Um, and this is going to have pretty big implications, not just for uh, the Chinese economy, that's losing these students for a few years, but a lot of these students are getting trained in the US and also coming back to China. So it has big implications for the Chinese economy, but it also has implications for US universities, right? So it allows, uh, it's a big source of revenue for public research universities, and these public research universities can now essentially not have to compromise on quality, they don't have to cut funds, and they don't have to uh, you know, raise institutions. So. So in general, this trend has had a pretty big impact on both the U.S. and China.